Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I'm here to talk today about the career of Alice Guy Blaché. Alice Guy Blaché is the foremost pioneer of the cinema. Uh, born in 1873, she began working at Leon Gaumont's Gaumont Film Company in 1894 as a secretary, and by 1896, she persuaded Gaumont to let her direct her first film, a short one-minute narrative called La Fée aux Choux, made in 1896, or The Cabbage Patch Fairy, um, on her lunch break. Gaumont said that she could do this so long as it didn't interfere with her secretarial duties. So successful was this film that she was launched on a career as a director, first making one-minute films, then two-minute films, then one-reel films, and by 1906 or so, she was made charge of all of Gaumont's production. She made more than 350 films on her own as a director and supervised a total of 600 films or more as the production executive for Gaumont. And then she moved in 1908. She met her husband Herbert Blaché at a bullfight in Nîmes, France and moved to the United States shortly thereafter to create her American production company, Solax. There she made equally ambitious films and we must remember this is happening all before D.W. Griffith. She's making these films. Griffith didn't make his first film until 1908. And she's basically the first person to make a film with a plot, the first person to use color, hand tinting color, and also to use a process called the chronophone process, which used sound on film with a very primitive method used involving discs synchronized with the motion picture camera. <laughs> Alice Guy, unfortunately, after 1920, she made her last film, Tarnished Reputations, and after that, she was unable to get work. Um, this is basically a result of the sexism that was beginning to pervade the film industry, and although women were very prevalent as film directors up until 1920, with other people like Cleo Madison and Ida Mae Park, after 1920, almost no directors were working in Hollywood, with the exception of Dorothy Arzner. Um, Alice Guy never directed another film. She was made a member of the Legion of Honor in France in 1953. She died in Mawa, New Jersey in 1968. For years, her films were considered lost, or only a few had survived. But now recently, Gaumont has put out a DVD which contains more than 60 of her films, and you can see them for yourself, particularly such beautiful films as La Vie du Christ, The Life of Christ, which she made in 1906, which is one of the most beautiful films of, of the life of Christ that's ever been made. Alice Guy Blaché was an absolute pioneer of the cinema and deserves much more credit than she gets. When you're thinking about the beginning of the cinema, remember that Alice Guy Blaché was there right at the start. My name is Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.